this is the January 2009 uh, BY1 paper and we're looking now at question number two. Uh, this question is all to do with protein structure and uh, particularly uh, starting off looking at the uh, various types of bonds that are found uh, within the protein. Okay, now there are quite a number of bonds that you need to remember um, in uh, protein structure. Okay, uh, some of those are listed in the table. There are actually a couple more. All right, but the examiner is only interested uh, in peptide bond, hydrogen bond, disulfide bond, and ionic bond. And what you've got to realize is um, those bonds uh, are actually. Uh, in the different uh, protein structures, okay, which are classed as primary, secondary, and tertiary structures. Uh, there is one other structure of a protein, of course, which is quaternary. All right, um, but for this uh, this question uh, part A, we're just looking at primary, secondary, and tertiary structures. Okay, so uh, we're looking here at uh, what bond would be found in the uh, primary structure. Now just to remind you the primary structure is just the uh, uh, the type and sequence of amino acids okay and they are actually joined together um, via a bond and it's that bond that uh, we need to know the name of and it is the peptide bond alright so we can actually put a tick in there all right, I'm using a an oblique sign instead of a tick, but in in the exam you must put a put a tick there. Right, there are actually no other bonds present uh, in the primary structure. All right, so that's uh, that's the first row uh, done. Okay, now the secondary structure um, is really the folding of the primary structure to form. Uh, if you can remember, an alpha helix uh, and a beta pleated sheet. Now, uh, the secondary structure then will actually still have the peptide bonds there uh, because the amino acids are still uh, joined together. So you actually put a, a, another tick there for the peptide bond. Uh, but there is, of course, other bonds present which maintain and hold the secondary structures uh, in the correct shape. Um, and those bonds would actually be uh, the hydrogen bonds. Okay, uh, just to just to remind you quickly, uh, the hydrogen bonds um, that are formed in the secondary structure are those formed between the C double bond O and the N single bond H groups, uh, which form the the peptide bond. All right. If you if you if you're not sure what I'm on about there, if you have a quick look at the notes uh, in the app, um, I've clearly drawn those uh, uh, those bonds out for you, and uh, uh, hopefully that will uh, help you out there. Um, the uh, the bonds then that that's all for the secondary structure. Uh, the tertiary structure, of course. Well, um, it would still have the peptide bonds, of course, and it would still have hydrogen bonds. Okay. Uh, but now the tertiary structure actually has two additional bonds, uh, which is the disulfide and the ionic uh, bond. Okay. Uh, just to remind you that uh, disulfide bonds are formed between two cysteine amino acids, and uh, the ionic bonds are formed between charged amino acids. Um, again, remember that uh, what makes each individual amino acid unique is its R group and uh, what you do need to remember not so much for this question but the disulfide bond and the ionic bonds are bonds that form between the R groups of the uh, amino acids okay right so that's uh, that's three marks for that table so you had a mark for each row in that table okay so if you got one row uh, wrong then you lost uh, a mark okay uh, part B um, how does the quaternary structure of a protein differ from the tertiary structure um, okay with a quaternary structure uh, you actually have a, a minimum of two polypeptide chains joined together all right um, some uh, 
proteins with a quaternary structure have four polypeptide chains joined together. And an example of that uh, would be hemoglobin. Okay, um, so the tertiary structure then just has one polypeptide chain and the quaternary structure will have at least two uh, polypeptide chains joined together, but it could be more. Uh, as I've said, it's actually four in uh, hemoglobin. Okay. Um, right, I'll type that answer in in a moment, but let's look at part two. Give an example of a quaternary protein. Um, the answer there would be uh, hemoglobin. There you go. So I've typed in there a quaternary protein has two or more polypeptide chains. Um, and the example um, of a quaternary protein I've put as uh, hemoglobin. Okay, that, uh, that very much ends uh, question number two, which was worth five marks. Um, I'm not going to show you the mark scheme for that because there's really nothing uh, to show you. Okay, we've put in all the answers and the ticks in the right place. Um, so I hope that uh, that helped you with question two.